Hey, what's up everybody? It's Skid, and this is going to be a bit of a different video than what I usually make. The game playing in the background is Apex Legends. Me and my friends were trying to melee people to death right out of the drop. We are very unsuccessful. None of us are any good at this game by any measure, regard, or standard, so... We were not very successful, but we did manage to melee a few people to death before getting killed ourselves, so... That's what's going to be in the background this whole time. Now it's been about a year since I made my last update video, so I thought I'd make a little video here talking about myself, what's been going on with my life, how big my dick is, and answering some of you guys' questions like, how big is my penis? So, yeah, I'm gonna talk about some shit. Now, uh, last update video I made was about a year ago. One of my friends had just killed himself and the other one had passed away, so I was feeling pretty blue. And I would really like to say that things got better, but they really have not. Since then, my dad's had two strokes and been in and out of the hospital, and I've been having to take care of him. Uh, my girlfriend broke up with me recently, and things just haven't been good this past year at all. But I'm every, all, even though all that stuff still hurts, and it feels like it's been so long since I felt fine, I'm getting better every day. Every single day I try to make something a little bit better. That's been my way to cope with it. Every day, if I get home and there's no one here, I'll just fucking sing my heart out. I'll turn on some music, I'll fucking belt out some tunes, I'll sing like my fucking heart depends on like I'm trying to appease God himself when I sing. Or if there are people here at the house, I don't uh, sing. I'll try to solve this Rubik's Cube that I've had since freshman year of high school. I've only ever solved two sides of it. You know, just every day something. I'll try to learn a new coin trick, some new magic trick. I'll try to learn how to put my fucking head, my my foot behind my head and lick my nutsack. You know, something. There's something to improve, something to be positive about so that I don't get down on myself, which would be very easy to do. You know, I just try to stay positive. And that's what's been keeping me going. That and all the support that you guys give me on my Discord, my streams, my YouTube comments, Patreon. You know, all you guys and you're really... Nice words have really helped me. Videos have been one of the only things that have really made me feel good. Made me feel like I'm making some positive impact in the world. You know, making people laugh with my stupid dirty butthole jokes and my terrible voice. You know, that makes me feel really good. And I wish I could do it all the time. I wish I could upload more for you guys. But, yeah, so I'm getting better every day. Stuff has not been great, but it's getting better. Now I guess I'll get on to the questions portion of the video. One thing I am asked a shitload is why I do not talk about myself. I've been doing YouTube for I think three or four years now pretty consistently and no one knows shit about me. And that's not any just stuff with you guys either. A lot of my best friends online still don't know very much about me. I just feel really uncomfortable talking about myself. Most people that I know don't know my name, where I live, how old I am, what, you know, how tall I am, how big my nipples are on my chest, you know, nothing. Because I don't like talking about myself very much. I am about the most average person on the planet. There is just nothing really special about me. I am terrible at almost everything I do. Everything I ever try, I'm just shit at. And the things that I am considered good at, the things I'm best at, I'm still just mediocre compared to most people. I've just never been good uh, at anything. I've always been just average, really plain. So I just don't see any real need to talk about myself or anything because whatever you guys come up with with your visions of me or who I am, what I look like, has to be better than the average person that is me. It's just not interesting, I guess. So that's why I don't talk about myself and why I don't post, you know, fucking selfies all over the place. Why I don't, you know, make vlogs, I guess. Another question people ask me are, are you going to play Insert Game? Uh, yes, any game that comes out I am probably going to stream, make videos about, you know, try to make amateur pornography of and source filmmaker, something. I'll be doing something with a new game. Someone is that 1-800-ASK-GARY calling me back? I deeply apologize for that. That was Gandhi apparently asking me for my insurance information. Uh, I don't remember what my last question I answered was, so I'm just going to keep on going with uh, the other stuff. Another question I get asked a shitload is, uh, why do you talk the way you do? 
I think that has something to do with my dad's jerk-off juice flying into my mother at high velocity and then me being pooped out nine months later. I just developed this way, I guess. And so people will say, well, you talk different in your older videos, you had more of an accent. And uh, the reason I had an accent in my older videos is because I've been doing YouTube for about four years now. When I first started, I talked just the way I do now. I talked in my regular speaking voice. I made some Battlefield 4 RPG montages and uh, some top 10 videos, I think. And uh, I talked this way. And the only comments I got were people telling me I sound like Critical, which I do. But bothered me a lot back then to see those because I didn't want to rip someone else off. I didn't want to be... I didn't want to steal someone else's thing, even if it was just how I talk. So I put on the only accent I could think of that I could do consistently at the time. And that was like a Kentucky Fried Inbred sounding accent. So I did that. And slowly over time, I've gotten more used to how I sound and just accepting that people are always going to say that I sound like critical, which that's whatever. It's cool, you know. They're going to say what they're going to say, and I don't really give a shit anymore. I'm just going to make my videos and keep on. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all the usual questions I get asked, besides the usual, what's your shoe size? Are you actually thick? You know, what's your favorite masturbation technique? Which is, by the way, the 10 knuckle shuffle method, which is kind of like trying to churn really stubborn butter, but I assure you I pull it off flawlessly every time. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, I guess. Just thank you. All of you, so much for all the support you've given me. I, I just cannot say thank you enough. And I am by no means the gatekeeper of positivity or someone to talk to when you're down. But if anyone out there is feeling blue, things will get better. Give it time. Talk to people. There are people out there that care about you that don't even really know you. You know, find the little things. Enjoy every sandwich and things will get better. But, uh, yeah, this video is super long now, so I'm gonna wrap this up. <laughs> See ya.